fans know that no one circles the wagons like the Buffalo Bulls. Today, an interconference battle between a couple of packed rivals. As we'll see, the Western Michigan Broncos taking on a squad hoping to prevent another L this week, the Buffalo Bulls. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me. Guys, it's time to get it going. From inside his own 10, he'll try to help out their field position. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. The Bulls offense takes the field for the first time today. And as we look out on the field, here comes the man, the man who makes it all go, and that's this quarterback. Yeah, and he's big time. That's why he's up for all these awards. He's, he's known. Everybody knows exactly what he brings to the table. He can run it. He can throw it. They're expecting a big day from this young fellow. They'll try to put it in drive this time on second down from the 22. Maybe picked up a couple. He's down at the 24. So already a challenge on this opening drive. It's third and nine. Wants to throw. It's Agbana. They're trying to get to him. And they get to the quarterback and knock him down back at the 16. And that is how you silence this raucous crowd. Defensively on the road, first drive of the game, setting the tone, getting a huge sack on third down. The Bulls will try to pin them back with the punt. Three and out and not much choice but to get rid of the ball. Gets the first one of the day out of there, and we saw a lot of him in that loss last week, four times to be exact. And the returner runs out of real estate as he goes down. The Broncos' offense will go to work for the first time today. They've got it first and 10 at the 50. The give to the back. And how about that interior defense stuffing the run for nothing? They got nothing on the last play at second and 10. They'll give it to the back. They'll give him a couple that leaves him with third and eight. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. On third and long, he's going to have to throw for it. Oh, he's going backwards in trouble, and down he goes. A tremendous loss. Well, this is a quarterback who's not known for his running ability, obviously. We've seen him make some great throws, but mobility, that's probably not on your bingo card. You saw it right there. He gets brought down for the sack. The Broncos send out the punt unit. Doesn't say much for your drive when you're looking forward to the punt. On the return, it's Birch. They'll get down and put a stop to the return at about the 28-yard line. The Buffalo offense headed back to the field. From the gun, they'll give it on the inside. They open the lane, and he hit it again, a five out to the 33. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Give to the back. And he gets it to the 45-yard line, and that'll be a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Quarterback making adjustments with his receivers. And that defense pushing him out of bounds after a short game. After the productive first down play at second and six. They've got him looking wrong, but they're going to throw it. Moving out of the pocket. And he scoops his way to the first down and then slides to avoid the hit. And the Bulls are rolling down the field. He'll do it himself. Showing off the arms. How about that elusiveness? He's got space. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. And that's it up for another Bulls. First down. The run from the shotgun. 
They'll get him on the ground after a pickup of three to the 28. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Here's the handoff. Knocked down after a three-yard gain to the 25. Balls have the 25. They're in field goal range, but they love to convert this third and short. Buys a little extra time. This senior quarterback never afraid to run it when he has to pick up a first down. The Bulls come to the line with a new set of downs. They're looking to pass from the red zone. Pressure coming. Flushed out of the pocket. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. Play number nine on this drive. Off play action. Dances away to buy time. He's going to be able to pick up a few yards before the slide. Boy, they'd love to pick up this conversion and go to work with a first and goal. Back to throw. It's Agbana. Into the end zone. And he was going for the touchdown there, and they couldn't make the connection. And they'll send out the kicker to try a field goal. And this one splits the uprights. And the first points of the day come on that field goal. They'll kick it away. From inside the 10-yard line, he'll bring it back. Buys just enough space to cross the 25. Let's mark it at the 27-yard line. Western Michigan has it back as they send the offense onto the field. Quarterback, quick pass to the receiver. Crosses to 40. Off he goes! And he was off to the races, finally tripped up at the 36. This defense really needs to be careful, and they have to play with great eye discipline, understanding where the football is at all times. Moving forward, they have got to know if this guy has the ball, because he is dangerous in space. Just enough room to gain a couple down to the 34. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. He looks that one in nicely. They make the stop, but not before they do their work up top and pick up a first down. And the Broncos have pushed it inside the 20. Coming after it. Hit hard as he released the ball on that first down pass, and it never had a chance. Offense gets set for second down. He'll pull it on the read. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Facing third and long from the 21 and hoping not to settle for a field goal. Looking downfield, it's Wolf. Pocket starts to collapse. And the defense, they've got him at the 27. Great timing by the defense there. Obviously, the offense has the ball in the red zone. You're trying to create a negative play to back them up. They do that with the sack, and if they're now going to try a field goal, it's going to be a little more work for the kick. It's fourth down, and they'll try the field goal. He'll swing that big leg for three from 44 yards out. Oh, and the attempt is no good. And after the miss, they're still down by a field goal. And no stink for this team. I tell you what, when you drive the field against a really, really good defense and you have an opportunity to get points, you got to capitalize on them now. And that one will sting a little bit because I thought the offense did a good job moving the ball down the field. Buffalo has it back. Let's see what the Bulls' offense can do. They've got the lead here. Last time they settled for a field goal, but David got to find that balance between being aggressive and careful. Man, I think they'll take that. I got the lead, Palmer. I got the football. I got to take care of the football, put a nice drive together, and just get some kind of points on this drive. No doubt. Lots to be happy about right now if you're this team. I think for this one, though, on this drive, it's about finding the one-on-one -on -one matchups that are in your favor and then exploiting them. Guys, we've reached the end of the quarter, and Buffalo is on top. We've played one before we move on. Let's have a look at the stats. Lots of time left, and we're ready to get back to it and open the second period. 
out of the shotgun. They go to the ground. Slam to the ground, but not before he gets the first down. It's first and ten from the 38-yard line. Might as well give it to him again. At midfield, he's got room. And how about that? But the doctor always ordered an explosive play to the 40. Man, I want to be a running back in this offense. When you take that handoff to the right and you see that blocking and all the holes open up, that's a good sight for a running back. You've heard of read and react. I think the defense read it. They just didn't react very well. Well, when you got that kind of a line, just all that push they're getting on that right side, they just pushed the defensive lineman back, got in the linebacker's laps. And man, oh, man, it was, it was brutal up front. He'll keep it himself. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. How bold will they be on third down after that last run? Looking to throw, it's Agbana. Here he goes, breaking the pocket. Trying to make magic on the scramble. Nifty little scamper on this one. And up for the first down, and he slides in safely. And the Bulls come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Off the play fake on first down, wants to throw. Using his legs to buy some time. And the rush will get to him at the 25. His play action passes take a little bit longer to develop, right? Because you still have the fake. And then the quarterback turns his back to the defense, has to reset. You got to protect him a little bit better than that. Or the fake's got to be a lot better. They've got a really good drive going, but a little speed bump here at 2nd and 13. Running to the left. Stop is made, but he picks up four yards down to the 21-yard line. Just outside the red zone at the 21, but it's third and long. Feeling some heat. Run play for the quarterback. Now on fourth down, here comes the field goal team. And for the second time, they'll go for the field goal. The first one was good, and they'll try from 42. He splits the uprights and puts three on the board. Let's go to the studio now and check in with Kevin Connors. Kevin, what do you got? Dynamite matchup this week, fellas. Let's show you what's going down. Arkansas is currently ahead in this one, but boy, there have to be some nervous moments for the folks in Fayetteville. They have not been able to pull away. They're up by seven over LSU. Any big developments in this one, we've got you covered with the best studio team in the business, gentlemen. And how about that one? Kevin will be keeping an eye on everything going on elsewhere. And the return man reaches the end of the line, and down he goes. Guys, we're about to get another look at this Western Michigan offense. Quarterback on the keeper. And he'll pick up one. It brings up second and nine. Win with the running game on first down, now back at it. On the ground, it's Buckley. Cross the 30, out to the 33, and gains four on the play. They plow ahead with the run, but still more ground needed to pick up the first down. Third down coming. They're bringing heat. Quarterback all over the place, trying to make a play, but eventually he goes down. And come on now, O-line. Gots to take care of your quarterback. He takes care of you. He's the one who takes you to meals. He's the one to get you those NIL deals. Everything happens through your quarterback. You gotta keep him upright. That is your number one priority. The Broncos will bring the punt team onto the field. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Running it back, it's Birch. He only needs a sliver of daylight. Really explosive when he gets his hands up. He found a couple of crevices and made a nice game before being run out of bounds. From the gun, running back gets to give. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. The flag flies in as this one falls incomplete. We'll see who it's on. 
So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. And here comes the offense on second down. The give to the tailback. They bring him down, but a solid pickup to put them in position to pick up a first down. The line to gain here is the 43-yard line, and it's third down. Dances away from the heat. He'll pull it down. He gets the job done, picking up the first down, then getting down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Movement here from the tight end. They'll run it from the gun. Across the 25, he's got room. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. The Bulls want to crank the tempo. They're going to ride this running back. Able to pick up a couple before he's knocked down. They mark it at the 10. Going to work in the red zone. They can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. They'll run it from the gun. Gets it inside the 10. Picks up a yard. They'll mark it at the 9. Not a lot of ground to cover and not much to defend. A big third down in the red zone. Back to throw. It's Agbana. And the heat gets there. And they get him down at the 14-yard line. Man, it didn't take long for the defense to get home on that play. You see them playing man coverage in the back end, slowing down the routes from the receivers and the rest of the offense. That forced the quarterback to have to hold on to it for just a split second longer, and they were able to get the sack. And here comes the field goal unit. This kicker has already made a couple today. Didn't make him sweat at all. It's good. They'll kick it away after putting up a field goal on that last drive. From inside his own 15, let's see how far he can get. He found some really good running room on that one. It just about got loose, as it is. Good return to set up the drive. He'll try to pop the draw. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. After getting knocked back to open this drive, it's second and 12. He's looking to throw. Unloads to the wideout. A strike downfield. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. We've reached the two-minute warning, and this thing has been one-sided, and they hope to at least have something to feel good about going into halftime. Getting some heat. Trying to make magic with his feet. They make the stop, but what a job on the scramble to get loose and pick up that first down. Not the most productive half for this offense so far, but finally starting to get it in gear. First and ten. He's got it and still on his feet. That completion takes him down to the seven-yard line, and they are ready to strike. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. And it's picked off right at the goal line. But I love the job by the coaching staff there defensively, matching the personnel of the offense, putting their dime package out on the field. So you bring out the extra defensive back, you're anticipating a pass. Perfect timing to run that personnel, and you get the pick. The Buffalo offense headed back to the field. Now you find out just how much of a gunslinger you are. Will you roll the dice here late in the half, David? And you know the defense is going to be really, really conservative, so I think it's an opportunity to be able to take a shot, see how much of a chunk you can get before then you decide really, Jesse, how you want to finish the half. You just can't turn it over and throw a pick if you're the quarterback here. You have got to be so smart. You're going to be aggressive with your decision. We played two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. 
Guys, you've had yourselves a superb broadcast so far today in Western New York. And I get it. A lot of coaches will say the difference between winning and losing comes down to stopping big plays and getting big plays. But if you ask me, it's more about how good you are on third down and how efficient you are in keeping drives alive. Those two stats can help you break the will of even the best defenses and help you come out on top. And with that, let's send it back to the fellas inside picturesque UB Stadium. And the Bulls will boot it away to start the second half. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. Western Michigan offense ready to go back to work. Trailing by a couple of scores, they'd like to generate some confidence here early in the third quarter. Down two possessions, the coaching staff met it at halftime, and they've probably scripted this opening drive, just like they do at the start of the game. They've now got an idea of what plays they feel most confident in, what plays their quarterback is seeing the best to go out here and execute a scoring drive. Well, and it's nice to get the ball first. Like, I got the first opportunity to close the gap a little bit, apply some great game pressure to these guys. So I think getting the ball first, driving down, scoring right here would be huge. Just masterful working that sideline and getting the toe down for the catch. And the Broncos with the first and ten. They'll run it behind the big guys on the left. And he fights his way forward, gets away from one, but not much doing on that one. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. From the gun, the running back has it. And he has a solid gain before the defense bottles him up. If every journey begins with a step, this offense needs to step into a third down conversion and then try to turn. Nowhere to go, and the ball is loose. Defense swarming on that loose ball. It'll be a turnover. Offensive players, when they got the ball, man, they're trying to make plays, right? Trying to make you miss. There's nothing better than closing that gap and sticking that head right in that guy's chest and causing a fumble. Buffalo has it back, but see what the Bulls offense can do. It has been a complete uphill struggle for both of these offenses, Jesse. It sure has. At this point, David, someone's just going to have to step up and make a play. Someone's got to break a tackle, make an incredible catch, and just give some life to this offense. Man, whatever you can, whatever it takes. Don't worry about looking pretty. That's out the window. We've already looked really, really ugly. we got to find something that works to put some throats on the board. And they'll finally bring him down after he rips off a huge play. The Bulls are in the hurry up. The give from the gun. And he's able to find a little bit of running room before they get him down. Operating in the red zone here on second down. To throw, it's Agbana. Zings it complete to the right. That throw and catch gets them down to the six, and the defense is running out of answers. And guys, this has been a defensive struggle, but now on first and goal, a chance for the first touchdown of the game. He works his way ever closer all the way down to the one-yard line. Now it's second and goal. Barrels ahead. And he takes it to the house. Touchdown, Buffalo! They are seizing control and taking away hope as they push out the lead in this Week 8 showdown. The offense flexes its muscle a bit and widens the gap. Take a little exhale, you know? You, you did your job, you got points, now you put your defense in a position where, hey, go out and get another stop. We're in great shape, so the offense definitely taking care of their business. The big fellas on the field, guys, for the two-point conversion. Trying to power it in. He's going to be stopped short of the goal line. The two-point attempt is no good as they are unable to extend the lead. On the run from inside his own five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Western Michigan has it back as they send the offense onto the field. From the shotgun, they'll run it. Crosses the 30. He's got away. 
How about the patience from this sophomore to hunt that green grass? They opened up this drive, getting all the way out to the 35, and now it's first down again. A seven-yard pickup. It'll be second and three. Got a little work done on first down. Now back to the line. They'll run play action. He's going to throw deep right side. Catch and stride inside the 15. And he'll take it all the way. They couldn't bring him down. Touchdown, Western Michigan. Well, I'm not sure who was closer to the receiver there, the defensive backs or us here in the booth. <laughs> that was great execution on offense. Receiver wins the route one-on-one, -on -one, shows off his speed, gets himself wide open. There was no question where the quarterback was going with that ball. Nice job. He'll try to tack on one more. And with the extra point, every little bit counts as they get closer. And for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. Week in and week out, guys. You never know what's going to happen in college football. Check this out. Army is in trouble right now, and unless something changes, this could be the kind of loss that sets that program back significantly. They're trailing by 21 to East Carolina. We promise to keep you posted on what goes down in this exciting college football matchup. Oh, and how about that? I know Kevin and those guys will be keeping an eye on it for us. Got it across the 20 and out to the 23. A pickup of four. Now facing a third and long. Looking to pass. It's Agbana. The sweet feet buy a little time. He'll try to do it himself. This senior quarterback moving the chains and picking up a first down for his team. And the Bulls come to the line with a new set of downs. Leaves it with the back. Slams ahead for a yard out to the 33. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. A little pre-snap eye candy for the defense. Gets it out quickly. Knocked down immediately, but a nice pickup on that one. Let's see what they do on third down. They'll try to run for it. They'll get it to the 48. No need to measure it to first down. The Bulls are on the move. They'll try the run. A solid pickup there before the defense is able to make the stop. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. He's looking to throw. Takes the easy completion. He's really close to that first down marker, but they stop him just a bit short. Listen, running backs are not just running backs anymore. You're going to be a wide receiver in today's football. And a great job sneaking out of the backfield, getting him the football, letting them get some positive yards. Trying to put together a long, time-consuming drive. This eighth play will be third and two. Wide receiver coming across in motion. On third and short, just trying to get enough for the first down. He is tackled, but it'll be a fresh set of downs. The offense lines up at the 40. They've got a first down. Quarterback reacting to what the D is showing. On the move at the 30. And chunk plays are the name of the game, and they get one here before the defense finally makes the stop. Might as well run him until they stop him. He's got it again. They'll pick up four, second and six coming. Guys, we've reached the end of the quarter, and Buffalo is on top. Let's take a quick look at the national rankings to see how this playoff race is shaping up. Not 
only is the scoreboard on their side, but so too is time as we open the fourth. They'll run the counter. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. This defense just can't get off the field. The offense unstoppable. Fires into the end zone. And the incomplete pass on third down, but there is a flag on the field. We'll see what that's about. They'll decline the penalty here and let the result of that play stand. So here we are on fourth down, and this field goal kicker is going to face all the pressure in the world. It is good! And now the lead is extended to the you know, it's funny, in an age where there's so many college football analytics and everybody wants to go for it on fourth down, at the end of the day, it still comes down to managing. Good decision by the head coach here in the fourth quarter. By kicking that field goal, you've now made it a two-possession game. Your chances of winning this thing have now gone way up. After putting three on the board, the kickoff unit ready to go. From inside his own 15, trying to follow his blockers. Couldn't find a way to create that broken field as he stopped at the 25. Guys, we're about to get another look at this Western Michigan offense. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. Gets the nose of the ball to the 25, giving one. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Back to throw. It's Wolf. Looking to the big tight end. What a job to lay out and make the catch. He threw that one with some serious heat. This senior quarterback doesn't need a lot of space to get it in there. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Last play was a near disaster. Now dealing with second and 13. He's looking to throw. Got him downfield. Tackled, but he has a first down. The Broncos come to the line with a fresh set of downs. From the gun, the running back tries to hit the hole. I never know if it's grammatically correct to say a team is being out physical. You hear it a lot in football, though. That's happening in this game. They are just not getting the push they need all game long up front to have any success when they decide to run it. And he was winding his way all over the backfield, staying alive, staying alive, and finally he goes down. And the defense loves being in this type of situation, right? You've got a big lead. It's in the fourth quarter. You know the opponent's going to be throwing the football, so you get your best pass rushers coming off the edge, using that speed, dipping and ripping, getting to the quarterback for another big play. They'll come to the line at the 42, facing a third and long. Looking to throw, and he needs a bunch. Trying to get to him. And the pressure is coming in, and they get him again. And it's been a long day for this offense. If you can't protect your quarterback, it's hard to be successful. That's the fifth sack they have given up. The offensive coordinator has no answers, and this defense has been flying around. And the Broncos will punt this one away. On to kick it away. Looking for a block. It's Birch. He's got great speed. Very little will make a crowd hold its breath like a punt return, and he brought them to their feet on that one. They move the tight end all over. To the ground with the back. And that's a very productive first down play of bringing up second and three. Looking for a man. It's Agbana. And he dropped it. It looked for all the world like that would be a catch, and he just got too excited. That last incomplete pass has him staring at a third and three. To the ground to try to pick up the first. Third down conversions are huge, and they've got one, and they're at the 35. Looking for a productive play on first down. They'll give it to him again. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. 
They got nothing on the last play. It's second and ten. He's looking to throw. Got his man quickly. And it will be a pickup of nine. They're facing a third and one. Trying to pick up a first down. They'll try to move the chains on the ground. And the Bulls get enough for the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Quickly complete. Got enough space. And the catch and run into the end zone. Touchdown, Buffalo. They're now in really good shape to get back into the win column as they extend the lead here late. Salt enter wound, right? Late in the fourth quarter, you can run the football, run this game out. No, sir. I'm going to continue to pad my stats, find my receiver out wide, and give me another touchdown. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And now with the extra point, they're up by 18 here in the fourth. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. From inside the 15, chance for a good return. Maybe if he could have eluded just one or two more guys, it would have been a big return, but they'll mark it at the 30. Western Michigan offense ready to go back to work. They're going to throw it to start the drive. It's complete on the right side. They make the stop right there. Good pickup, but still short of the first down. This offense has a second down play. Back to pass, it's Wolf. Fires to the big fella. He stopped at the 48, a pickup of 10 on the play. Here they come, first and 10 from the 48. And a first down for the offense. Looking to move it through the air. Receiver looks it in, it's complete. This offense has their work cut out for them, man, because the coverage has been so tight. And if you're not throwing to the sideline or you're not getting past the sticks, this defense is going to tackle you inbounds like they just did on that last play and bleed the clock. And the running back made the catch. And wait just a second. The official's going to take a second look at this one. And you know the standard is indisputable video evidence, and the officials will change the call. It's caught. They'll pick up enough yardage for the first down. They've got it at the 30. The Broncos will hustle to the line. They're running the curl route against zone coverage. The quarterback knows that's going to be a tight window. He's got to rifle that ball into his wide receiver. He does just that, and as a result, they pick up the first down. He's brought down solid. Pick up a little bit short of the first down. After that last completion, it's second down. Well, and here's the problem offensively. Because you're trailing by so much so late in the game, the defense now is going to be playing big zone coverages, and they're going to allow you to throw the ball underneath in the middle of the field, rally to make a tackle, and bleed the clock. It's going to be hard now for this offense to claw their way back in this one. They're going to go to the air on third and short. He's got an open man. Gets out of bounds after the big play, and they'll be set up in business with a first and goal. First and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And the D deny them on second and goal. Looking downfield, it's Wolf. And makes the grab in the end zone. Touchdown, Western Michigan. Western Michigan. It's hard for a defense to have to cover so much space. When the offense goes empty, you get receivers and tight ends and running backs lined up out wide. You've got to expand, and it's harder to cover on the back end. Lining up to add another. Bangs it through for an extra point. And let's check in with Kevin Connors in the studio. Kevin? Boys, if it's happening in college football, we've got eyes on it. Check this out. Oklahoma is in trouble. You could bring back any of the Heisman winners they've had here, Bradford or Mayfield or Murray. None of them would make a difference today. 
They're trailing by 14 to South Carolina. Your boy KC has you covered here in studio, guys, in case anything changes in this one. Thanks for the update on that one. Kevin, let us know when it goes final. We reached the two-minute warning, and this offense is that much closer to salting away a victory. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. A quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. On third down, he drops to throw. They're trying to get to it. He'll pull it down and run. Picks up the first down and gets down to avoid contact. Timeout called there by the defense, desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. They'll put the tight end in motion. On the ground, trying to pull the plug on this clock. Defense uses a timeout quickly, trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. Now on second down, and we'll probably see another run, and that might do it if they can get a first down. And they're able to shove him to the turf as they stop him for a short game. Will they keep it on the ground again here on third down? They'll try to bully their way for the first. And the defense had its hands full, but they finally wrestle him down short of the first down. The Bulls will try to convert on fourth down. They'll try it on the ground. And the first guy couldn't get him, but the second one does, but not until he picks up the first down. A strong, methodical, workmanlike effort from this team. No frills, just get the job done and get the win. I love when you describe my teams like that. Just consistent, you know, methodical, strong. I don't have to do things special every single week. All I'm supposed to do is get the W, and that's what they did. And this is why practice is so important, guys. You can tell that this team was locked in way back earlier in the week. They watched the film, they got good looks in practice, they knew what to anticipate, they knew what looks they were going to see, and when those looks presented themselves, boy oh boy did they ever take advantage. That's gonna do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, our entire broadcast team, I'm Reese Davis. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.